Akma Cardona. And right behind him is the new coach of Talking Text, Derek Pumarin. Jun Chongo is also part of that picture. Eric Meng and the Jin Kings, Umarangkada. Sa kakatapos lang na third quarter. Kung kaya lumobo po ang kalamangan na, ng Hinebra. And you look at the output of Hinebra in the third quarter. And that explains uh, why the Jin Kings are ahead as we begin fourth quarter action. Harvey Carey. Harvey Carey getting a dish for Larry Cardona. Yumawanan, pinapahirapan ni Cardona. Something Cardona has done to opposing point guards for many years now. And that's what uh, Coach Derek Watt likes to do with Mac Mac. Put him on the point guard position and then move the uh, point guard defender to the off guard of the other team. Seems to be a scrappy five fielded in by Derek Pumare. He has Anton Villoria, Cardona, Miller, Carey, and Poch Huino, the only legitimate big man on that uh, five on the court. Uh, Pasa ni Carey. Here's Villoria. Villoria on the move, off the glass, Kapos, and the ball ends up with Adungul. The Adungul, meron po, 12 rebounds. Para naman sa Inebra, andyan si Dimaunahan, Ferreria, Santos, Meng, at Adungul. Here's Dimaunahan, on the move. Santos swings it over to Ferreria, two to shoot. Pereira to Di Maunan. At uh, three second violation. Ay, tatawag naman sa Inebra. Either way, the ball would have gone to uh, Talk and Text. Critical part for uh, Talk and Text and Inebra right now. For Talk and Text, you want to make a run and uh, cut this lead while uh, Mark Kagiwa is in the bench as well as JJ Helterbrand. Para naman sa Talk and Text, not a lot of scorers. So uh, you have to be uh, up there defensively. Cardona to Villoria. No go. Meng with the rebound. Si Eric Meng. Uh, meron na pong 13 rebounds tonight. Slow start here by Hinebra in the fourth quarter. Story of the third quarter, Miko. Field goal percentage for Talking Tech still at 36%. At itong uh, Barangay Jin Kings finally uh, nabuhay ang uh, field goal percentage nila up to 57%. Yeah, this is something you should expect. Uh, with Derek Kumarin at the helm, you will see Cardona get more assertive. He will see more looks and more touches uh, para sa phone pass. But if there's one guy that also knows the system of Coach Derek, ito rin si Mac Mac Cardona dahil he spent his college under that system. Here's Miller on the move. Miller all the way. No go. Oh, Harvey Carey slams it back home. At nagbabanta po itong pocket takes na parang bagyo. Kanina, uh, they were down by as many as 17 points. Pero ngayon, naibaba na nila sa 9 puntos ang labang ng Ginebra, 71 62 with over nine minutes to go in the payoff period. Back inside the big dome for more fourth quarter action. At uh, kanina po, si Harvey Carey got a Yakult slam dunk. Brought to you by Yakult. Okay, Kapachan. And uh, this was this is part of a uh, an uprising here by uh, Talking Text uh, sa mga unang bahagi ng fourth quarter. Kung saan Hinebra is uh, throwing the ball away. And uh, may ula tayo tukol kay Mark Kagiwa mula kay Dominic Kuhl. Miko, nakausap ko si Mark Kagiwa nung uh, end ng third quarter. At sinabi niya, he's feeling so well today. He's hot. He's got 31 points in the game and 20 of those coming in the third quarter. Sabi niya, alam mo, nung uh, Red Bull Series, medyo may iniinda ako. Sinabi niya, hindi siya, ayaw niya gumawa ng excuse. Pero sabi niya, nawala yung explosiveness niya nung series na yun. But in today's game, he feels a lot better. At sabi niya, he's 99.7% back. Well, uh, Mark Kagiwa definitely back. But going back to what you were saying, that uh, it's the uh, scrappy players that tinawag mo nga kanina, Miko, na nagbigay buhay dito sa Talk and Text phone pals. Courtesy of a couple of turnovers, uh, Romel Adukol. Having three turnovers here in the fourth quarter, that's why he's back. In the, he's on the bench right now. 
and it's the uh, defense turning into offense by the seventh post foul. Here's Ming. Double team. Ming. Yes, sir. Oh. Eric Ming asking for a foul. But Suino and uh, Mac Mac Cardona all over him at the post during that possession. So, balik po sa Otse ang uh, lamang ng Ginebra. 73-62. And uh, Irvin Soto called for a foul at alam nyo si Shot Tang Kinsen po Galit na galit po doon sa bench ng Ginebra I don't know about you Jason but uh, as a technical foul is called on uh, Coach uh, Shot When you see other coaches get uh, upset parang normal lang but when I see Coach Shot get upset it's like looking at a sacristan getting mad. <laughs> parang, ano yung parang hindi bagay? Well, you know, he started to... Medyo umiinit na rin yung ulo ni uh, Coach Shot lately. He's been getting a, a bit more technical compared to the first conference that he had. But, you know, as a player before, when I see uh, coaches get technical, alam ko na yun eh. Especially pag yung down yung kalaban and they get a technical. I know that it's just, you know, their way of um, bringing their players back to speed or uh, trying to get them on a high. It's a motivation exactly. Food. And this guy has been motivated Dito sa second half Itong si uh, Mac Mac Cardona already with 12 points 10 of them coming here in the second half Walo na lamang ang abate ng Ginebra 73-65 And the foul was spotted by Art Herrera and, and you know, you look at Mark Cardona As he is called for a second personal foul There is a different half to his step Parang meron siyang bagong sigla uh, now that he is uh, getting a significant boost in terms of playing time. Well, you know, two three-pointers um, will do that to you. You know, he didn't shoot very well from the three-point region his first conference here in the PBA. As you see, Rodney Santos hit it from DMS. You know, once he hit those two three-pointers, you know, Mac Mac was going to be a factor in today's ballgame. DM3 po yun. Natinsan yun ang bagong DM power to the people. After all, si Rodney Santos ay Mr. Fourth Quarter ng Ginebra as a top Gloria. Finally, the uh, field goal shooting of uh, Talking Tech climbing a bit here in the uh, second half, in the fourth quarter. Poor foul by uh, Pochuinho. Palo galing sa likod. Eh, talagang tatawagan ng referee ka agad yan. Rodney Santos! Past the fourth quarter, he is always dangerous. The entries at it's ending of bagong TM power to the people. Santos, no, but he will take two. I tell you, you know, Rodney Santos playing in the fourth quarter. It's like bringing Dominic Uy to an all-girls school. <laughs> Delicado. Hindi pwedeng hindi bantayan. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. Hey, you know. Great analogy. <laughs> Excellent. Diba? Kailangan bantayan. O kailangan tutuhan. Hirap na. Let's go to our Magic Sing Extreme Action Shot. Uh, brought to you by Extreme Magic Sing Video Game. Come alive with Extreme Magic Sing. Tampok po. Si Willie Thriller Miller. You know, Miko, you're still kind because I thought you were you were going to say, you know someone is going to score. That's as far as I go. Can you please turn off uh, Dominic's microphone? Well, we do not want to be disturbed. Jason and I are concentrating on the game at hand. Kung saan lamang po ang Ginebra, 77-67. Gis puntos ang uh, lamang ng uh, Ginebra and Viloria will miss. Uh, Carey gets the rebound and this scrappy unit fielded in by Derek Umarin is paying dividends. Well, we were looking for offense from other, other, other players mula sa talking text. At dito sa fourth quarters, kumore si Harvey Carey, sumuscore si Mac Cardona, and even Anton Villoria has been in the scoring column. And don't look now, itong lamang ng Hinebra na ibaba na po. Oh, 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 but Mark Nagiwa says, stay where you are, fucking text. I am still red hot 
And Kagiwa now with 33 points. Balik sa cheese puntos ang lamang ng Hinebra. 79-69. Ball na kay Huwinyo. Bounce pass para kay Carey na agaw ng Hinebra. It's a counter steal by Miller. Here's Viloria. He fires and he won't score. Ito na si Helper Brad. Helper Brad on the ball. Bounce pass para kay Kalani Ferreria. What a play. Hindi ko alam paano lumusot yung pasa ni JJ Helter Brand, but it did. And it allowed Ferreria to scoot in for two as we plunge into this 30 second timeout. Now I'm talking text, watch it again. And the, you know, look at look at the pass of JJ Helter Brand between two defenders to Kalani Ferreria. And there you have it, the lead is back to 12 para sa Jin King. And finally, now I have my <laughs> microphone on and I can defend myself. <laughs> I just like to tell everybody there, uh, naging teammate ko si Jason sa college, tapos nakasama ko naman si Miko no, when I turned pro. So, lahat nung natutunan ko, alam, lahat nung alam ko ngayon, nang galing kay Miko Halili at kay Jason Webb. Sa larong basketball. <laughs> Actually, hindi. Yung after hours ko, yung mga natutunan ko. Eh. <laughs> after hours, ha? Uh, actually, I was, I'm very thankful to Jason who took me. <laughs> took under, me on his wing. Under his wing. Oh, under oh. his wing. Oh, let's no check this uh, three-point play muna, ha? Pure Foods Bacon three-point play. Tapos si Mark Kagiwa brought to you by Pure Foods Bacon with three variants. Honey cured, maple, and the newest lean and mean bacon. At ito na, Miko, ano baka mo yung mga pinakamatataas na quarter scores? Uh, how does uh, Mark Kagiwa's 20 fare to the rest of the uh, annals of the PBA? Eh, medyo malayo pa pala, Miko, because uh, Alan Kaidig had 37, Paul Alvarez had 30, uh, Renren had 27 last uh, April 29, and uh, last year, in 2005, Alan Kaidig again had 27, and the fortune cookie had 26 at one time. So, uh, medyo malayo pa yung bente ni... Uh, Mark the spark. Actually, yung record ni, uh, ni Atoy ko, matagal yan, ha? Seven years bago po na napasag yung uh, record ni Fortune Cookie. 26 points in a quarter. In fact, I, I remember watching this game featuring uh, ito, itong Presto Alaska wherein Kaidik broke that record. I, I actually remember watching that. And I, I know you covered the game of uh, Atoy ko as well. <laughs> As Ferreria escapes the defense, Magata counter attack dito ng Hinebra. Just when Pokintex was knocking on the door, they shut it down. Yes, Mark Kagiwa, JJ Helterbrand, they came in and put the spark back in the Jin King. Kaya nakapawi sila. Willie Miller connects from TM3. TM3, atin sa inyo ng bagong TM. Power to the people. Score po natin 83-72 in favor of Hinebra. With under six minutes to go in the payoff period. Here's Hofer. Hofer to Kagiwa. Kagiwa on the move. Kagiwa. Yes! Mark Kagiwa. So, kanina nag 34 points in James Yap. Itinaik na po yun ni Mark Kagiwa who now has 35. And uh, Mark Kagiwa's uh, career high is 43 which also happened against the Token Talk, Talk and Text team in uh, February 6, 2005. So, yun ang hinahabod niya ngayon. May 19 points po si Miller. Back-to-back TM3. Sa tinsay niyo ng bagong TM. Power to the people. Pero cheese puntos pa rin. Ang abante ng Ginebra. 85-75. Somebody better stop Mark Kagiwa right now. Hey, they've tried Willie Miller. They've tried Mac Mac Cardona. They've tried Leo Avenido. I don't know if Tonichi Ituri is still available to play defense against uh, Mark Kagiwa. Four and a half to go in the ball game. Miller, wala. Si Eric Mick ang nakakuha ng rebound. May foul na ibinigay si Harvey Carey. That's a foul number four, Harvey Carey. So, time out muna tayo dito sa fourth quarter. Ang problema ng Tokyo Techs, paano ba nila pipigilan? Si Mark the Spark Kagiwa, 12 puntos na naman ang lamang ng Hinebra. At si Kagiwa, meron na pong 37 points. Patang-patang mandaluyong ng Hinebra si Mark Kagiwa. 
Tampok sa ating Red Bull Energy Play. Red Bull ang bumangga. Iba. At wala pa pong makabangga. At wala pa rin makakiba. Dito kay Kagiwa who now has 37 points. To lead the way for Hinebra. Kaya hindi po makalapit-lapit ang Tokitex dito sa ating laro. At si Mike Popper, dinagdagan pa ang lamang ng Hinebra. He has 9 points tonight. At uh, balik sa labing apat ang abante ng uh, Hinebra with 4 minutes to go in the ball game. Here's Alapag on the move. Alapag short on the layup. Si Meng na naman ang nakakuha ng rebound. Here comes J.J. Helterbrand. And a double down low. And Hinebra's inside dominance has been very apparent from jump ball all the way to the fourth quarter. You know, both guys came out to play today. Ito si Romel Adukul at si Eric Meng. Both having big games, of course, but none bigger than that of uh, Mark Kagiwa. The perfect complement to the good game of the big guy. And, uh, you know, this, this inside dominance and then the explosiveness of Kagiwa and Helter Brand. Yan ang dahilan kung bakit pasta all Filipino ang labanan. Inebra is always one of the top teams. Really it seems that's the exact formula they had last year on, on, uh, on their way to winning the uh, championship. Ang tanong lang dyan, kung may maintain nila itong uh, strength nila na to at kung hindi sila tatamaan ng injury bug, katulad na nangyari dun sa semifinal series. Wow. Uh, TM3 yung, uh, yung uh, ibinita, binitawan kanina ni Miller, kit sa inyo ng bagong TM, power to the people. Miller, by the way, with 22 points, it might not be enough to uh, help uh, Talking Text get back in this game with less than 3 minutes to go. Here's Hopper. Yung kanyang pass up, pumama sa net. Leading to a turnover. Here's Alapag. Over to Miller. Miller fires in and out. Ang lahat ng riba, napunta lang kay Ben. O kaya kay Adukul. Combined, these two already have 29 rebounds between them. Oh, Kagiwa, <laughs> stealing the ball away from Ferriols. It's been that kind of night for Kagiwa. Everything has clicked for uh, the former Rookie of the Year. As we enter the last two minutes brought to you by Hope, the luxury cigarette. Rebound for Alapag. It's a steal for Eric Meng. And some of the fans inside the big dome feel that uh, They've seen how this movie will end, <laughs> making their way to the exits. Uh, Pakarandam nila sa Hinebra na mapupunta itong uh, panalo na ito. And uh, Eric Meng has, uh, has been a tower of strength here para sa Hinebra. Lamang na lamang po sila with under two minutes to go in the ball game. Back inside the big dome for the remaining moments of this ball game between Hinebra and Talking Text. Lamang na lamang po ang Hinebra sa puntong ito. Bola po na kay Meng. Meng, binigay kay Helter Brand. Seven seconds to shoot para sa Hinebra. Helter Brand on the move. And he scores. Eight point for JJ Helter Brand. Quarterback excellently para sa kanyang team. Made that run. Actually, Barangay Hinebra staved off that run of uh, Talk and Text. Nung pumasok siya sa court at uh, tumakbo ulit itong uh, Barangay Hinebra. Speaking of running, Miko, uh, the Jin Kings has, has a, have a total of 13 fast break points compared to only 3 of the Talk and Text phone piles. That's a very small number considering Jimmy Alapag on the court. Elter Brand over to Kagiwa. Kagiwa on the move and he's not done. Meron na pong 39 points si Kagiwa. His career high is 43 points. Abutan kaya yan ni Kagiwa ngayong gabi with only a minute and one second to go. As you look at our Revico on Forte, a stick player of the game. Si Eric Meng. 
was a force inside. And you'll see his numbers tonight. There you have it, our Revicon Forte Astig, player of the game. Eric uh, Meng, who along with Romel Adogul, really colored majority of the rebounds tonight. And uh, Kagiwa did his damage outside, and Meng did his damage inside. At ayan ang mga numero ni Meng. 38 minutes, 16 points and 16 rebounds. You know, he'll be proud because one thing that is e very important to Eric is getting a lot of rebounds. So, time out po tayo with a minute uh, to go. Dito sa ating ball game, uh, mukhang itong Inebra, they will uh, score their first win uh, dito sa Philippine Cup. And we'll bring you more from the Big Dome after these messages. Back with our remaining moments, dito sa ating live coverage of the Gramatador PBA Philippine Cup. Here's Elter Brand still on the court para sa Inebra. Acrobatic shot. Here's Alapag on the move. Pinapik yung bola palabas. And, <laughs> anong sabi ni Kagiwa kay JJ? Baka gusto mo kami hintay. <laughs> Sabi ni Adukol, uh, Jimmy, maybe you're better off uh, shooting from the outside. Thirty-five seconds to go. Bago matapos ang laro, here's Bochuino banging into Eric Meng. Alper getting the basketball, loose ball foul. This will be against Talking Text. Well, that's what you said, that it's going to take some time to gel for the phone fouls. I remember when we have a new coach, when I was still playing, it's so hard because even the inbound is just Nico. You're trying to remember what are the plays, what should you do, where do I stand? So, you know, you can't be too hard right now on uh, this team because uh, it's going to take some time. You know, Coach Joel Balal had a lot of success with the uh, Talking Tech team. Of course, last year was a little blip on the, um, the first time that he actually didn't make it to the uh, final four. I'm sure uh, Coach Derek looking to do almost or oh, do even better than what uh, Coach Joel Banal has done for the team. Uh, Miller was a bright spot para dito sa Pocket Checks. He has 25 points. At nakakano na to, ha? Anim na TM3. Uh, Titsan nyo ng bagong TM Power to the People. Si Willie Miller. But it will not be enough. As the second stick by Tinebra will uh, open their uh, campaign dito sa Grand Matador Philippine Cup with a bang. Uh, disposing of Talking Text 96-81 dito sa Araneta Coliseum. And Mark Kagiwa, he was the hot man for Hinebra. Unstoppable, especially in the third quarter. You know, I just love it when they make it easy for us, you know, when to be able to choose the best player of the game. Of course, Mark Kagiwa, you know, Almost a career high. He had 38, 39 points. As we look at the slam dunk of uh, Romel Adukul, medyo nakaw yung <laughs> slam dunk na yun. Akala nila, tapos na yung game. Barangay Hinebra starting off strong. At ito ang final score. Uh, atin sa inyo ng Gold Eagle Beer, sir. Pang kondisyon, sumay, ambisyon. 98 for Hinebra, 81 for Pocket Text. At tulad ng nasabi ni kasabang Jason, wala pong kahirap-hirap ang pagpili ng San Miguel Beer player na walang katula. Kita mo naman, 39 points, Miko, 4 assists. And the way he did it, 17 out of 23, only missing 6 shots. 